All right, in this lesson, let's learn about the hash aggregate operator, shown as a hash match aggregate on execution plans. In this lesson, we're going to describe two hash algorithms, the hash aggregate and the hash join, which work in a similar way and are, in fact, implemented by the same physical operator, the hash match. Now, the query optimizer might choose a hash match aggregate for big tables where the data is not sorted. There is no need to sort it. And its cardinality estimates only a few groups. So for example, the sales order header table has no index on the credit card approval code column. So the following query will use a hash aggregate operator. A hash operation builds a hash table in memory. The hash key for this table is displayed in the properties window as the hash keys build property, which in this case is that credit card approval column. Since this table is not sorted by the required column, the credit card approval code column, every row scan can belong to any group. I should have picked a shorter column. That's a mouthful, credit card approval code column. All right, so the algorithm for this hash match operator is similar to the stream aggregate, with the exception that, in this case, the input data is not sorted. A hash table is created in memory, and a hash value is calculated for each row processed. Note again that the hash aggregate helps with the data that is not sorted. There is that the key is the not sorted. If you create an index that can provide the data in a sorted order, then the query optimizer might select the stream aggregate instead. In our example, we'll create a non-clustered index on credit card approval code column. And when we did that, we got the stream aggregate. All right, so lastly, let's take a look at the distinct keyword. A query using the distinct keyword can be implemented by a stream aggregate, a hash aggregate, or a distinct sort operator. Now, the distinct sort operator is used to both remove the duplicates and sort its input. If an index to provide sorted data is available, the optimizer can use that stream aggregate operator. If no index is available, SQL Server can introduce a distinct sort operator or a hash aggregate operator. Now, let's take a look at these in the following queries. Note that the plan using the distinct operator, the operator will sort the rows and eliminate the duplicates. If we create an index, the query optimizer will introduce a stream aggregate operator since the plan can take advantage of the fact that the data is already sorted. Lastly, a larger table without an index to provide order can use a hash aggregate. 